All right, we're gonna go back, got an, the third and final Heidelberg wrestler out of their three finalists. Uh, looks like we have Alex Grant at 195 pounds coming in from uh, Portland, Oregon originally. So a little far outside of that wrestling belt, but comes in with a record of 17 and two from Heidelberg today. He's a sophomore, and this is his first year wrestling at Patch High School. And on the opposite side, wearing the red anklet, is Albert Suarez from Patch. Uh, excuse me, yeah, from Patch High School. Uh, this is his first year wrestling at Patch. Pardon me. He's from Tampa, Florida originally, and posts a 19 and two record. A senior this year, so we'll see if Alex Grant from Heidelberg can really hold on as being a sophomore. Who knows? Again, experience could play out. You never quite know, but it's not uncommon to see younger wrestlers win. Unlike any other sport, it's just you on the mat, and it really comes down to weight. If you weigh the same, what's going to happen? Whose skills are heavier? We said strength isn't all this sport is about, but I tell you, from watching the prelim rounds and the uh, the pool draw rounds, Grant from Heidelberg is just a really strong kid. I mean, we're getting into the upper weight classes here, 195 pounds, and he has got a lot of strength built up. Let's see if he can mix it with some technique and take home the championship today. Great job there by Suarez to avoid Grant coming around behind him. Both wrestlers fighting for just that little bit of an inch, that little bit of an edge to get around and get the takedown. 50 seconds left in the first period of this 195 Dodge European Wrestling Championship. Again, it's three periods long unless a tie and then we go into a sudden death overtime. Grant going in for the shots. Needs to be careful and keep his elbows in. He's allowing Suarez to get that double underhook and that puts him in a really bad position. Uh, to get possibly turned straight to his back. Looks like we're on the edge of the mat. Possible takedown, but he gets his leg back. We're going to start back over on our feet in the middle. Really tight action. 30 seconds left to go, and we're still locked up 0-0 zero to zero here in this first period of your 195-pound championship match. Both wrestlers looking to their corners for advice from their coaches. Do you see something I don't see? Help me out. That's what the look is telling them. I need to get a point. What can I do, coach? And that'll be something you'll see every time. Anytime a wrestler gets a slight second to breathe, instantly they look to the coach for an advice. Well, I mean, you're into the action out there, and you're head-to-head, -head, you're, you're hand-fighting, but a lot of times your coach from the sideline can see small openings that you might not notice while you're out there on the mat, so they might have the inside scoop on what you should do. Throw attempt there. Edge of the mat, no takedown. We are gonna start back over on our feet. But yeah, your coach can see stuff that you can't see while you're out there on the mat. So it can be a huge advantage listening to your coach on the sideline. And speaking of coaches on the sideline, some of these coaches have actually wrestled at different places. I know the Heidelberg coach, I was my understanding, wrestled at West Point. Sure and did. also that Don Walker, one of the patch coaches, used to be a Dodge wrestler himself, wrestled in high in college, and now is back here helping these. So a lot of experience goes into some of these big programs, Heidelberg, Wiesbaden. Ramstein, Patch, places like that. Don Walker wrestled in college for Powerhouse Edinburgh. Now, if you haven't heard of Edinburgh, <laughs> don't worry, a lot of people haven't, but they have a really, really stellar wrestling program there out in uh, Pennsylvania, I believe, and uh, awesome program. Yeah, outside of the you know Midwest swing states there of wrestling, some of the East Coast states, Maryland, Virginia, Pennsylvania, fantastic wrestlers, and they produce a lot of quality people. Second period still locked up at 0 0. Minute 20 left. Again with the front headlock position from Suarez. I uh, goes down, grabs a leg, not going to get it. Going to start back over on our feet again. Still locked up at 0 0. Tight action here at 195. And Suarez might be using the, the headlock as a setup, but he's not doing much with it. He's just instantly going for it. And what he needs to do is kind of pull down and push up and get enough space between him and Grant that he can shoot in for a takedown. Until he does that, Grant is doing all is doing a fantastic job of keeping him away. The longer this match goes, that front headlock may pay him dividends, though, because it really will wear you out having your head pulled down and held there because you don't want your head down in the mat. You're constantly trying to pull it out and push it up. It can take a lot out of you trying to pull your head out of that front headlock all the time. Right there, Grant trying to do what they call a shuck, a pull down and pop up move where he kind of pulls to the head. It goes up just like that. Bad setup, though, but that's the idea that he's going for. Pull down on the head, and when he comes standing up, then I'm going to go in for a shot. Right now, what he needs to do, what Suarez needs to do from Patch is really pull back down on that and force Grant to go to a knee or go flat on the mat in order to spin around him. Still not successfully pulling off that move. 0-0 zero, zero match. 26 seconds left in this second period. And uh, I, I don't see an advantage for either Russell right now. Both trying some shots. Neither successful. Need to, uh, need to set them up better. That's exactly what they need to. And they both know how to do that. 
Grant from Heidelberg comes in at 17 and two. Albert Suarez from Patch comes in at 19 and two. Both wrestlers know exactly what it takes. We'll see who can make the smart move when it counts going into now the third and final period, 0-0. Zero, zero. Whoever wins this, this place is gonna be electrified. They're gonna go crazy. It'll be the boom goes the dynamite situation before you know it. You betcha, and uh, looks like Grant gonna choose the down position, try and get that quick one point, because that may be the difference in a tight match like this. And uh, not successful on his first attempt, but is controlling the hands, has his base underneath of him. Great roll Rolls. right there, great roll. Catches Suarez on his back. Did he get the reversal yet? They're Have saying they no control yet. Now there's the there control. It is. That puts Grant two to zero, 100, and, or excuse me, a minute and 40 seconds left in this 195 pound matchup for the Dodds European Wrestling Championship. Great move by Grant there. Knew exactly when to time the switch and rolled perfectly and now is leading the way on Albert Suarez. Here in the background, Heidelberg crowd here watching the action. Totally excited right now. They brought three wrestlers to the final. So far they've got two champions and uh, looking promising for a third here. Back to their feet. point right there for Suarez. Two to one. Suarez, if he wants to win this match, needs to take a better takedown setup and attempt and really work that out. If he can get these points, he can come away as a win. Grant's got to be careful backing up, though. Moving backwards is considered a passive movement, and they will get him for stalling if he backs up too much without showing some aggression and some offense. You can hear the crowds chanting Heidelberg in the back. Heidelberg is only about an hour or so away from Wiesbaden. Patch is a couple hours away. A lot of parents and family and friends came for the trip for the championship match to support Heidelberg. Now Grant with the front headlock, trying to hold on to it. Looks like he wants to toss him, and he does. He does. Gets Great him on toss. his back, needs to sink back. Toss. He's got that half Nelson. Counting off back points, that'll be two for the takedown and straight to back points will give him potentially He's three points. He's trying to settle in, he wants this pin. pin. He wants this pin bad. 30 seconds to go if Suarez can hold on and he will not be pinned. He, right. Grant needs to slide back a little bit more and put chest to chest in order to keep this going. Right there, it's close. Crowd is absolutely electric right now. Everybody is on their feet. Seven to one right now with Heidelberg. 13 seconds left. Heidelberg, great reversal right there. This could be the end of the match. Looks like Grant gets off of his back. Reversal and two. Uh, Again, no, straight to back his back. back. What Grant or what Suarez needs to do is suck back in there. Looks like he's going to get two. Bringing the final score, seven to five in favor of Alex Grant, Heidelberg High School, going to end up the season 18 and two, and uh, wow. Now the question will be, that was a fantastic finale. Suarez did everything he could to reverse it. It looks like that will be the final score. They're not going to give the back point uh, points for it right there. It doesn't seem that that's the way it's going to be. It seems, oh, they did give it to him. Wait a minute. What happened? It seems to me that there could have been a miscalculation in the score. There is definitely a miscalculation in the score. And we're going to see both coaches over talking to the referee right now. And uh, they are going to try and figure this out. The I'm only way Suarez could have won is if he would have gotten two for the reversal and three for the back points. It seems that the ref made a mistake and is actually going to give it to uh, Grant right here. It seems that he may have risen the I think wrong he arm. held up the wrong hand. You'll see the referees have those armbands on signifying which wrestler is awarded the points. And uh, in the heat of the moment right there, he may have just held up the wrong hand. Of course, that's not going to happen. Let's that's see whose hand is we'll raised. See. It seems to be that there was a discrepancy on which hand was raised, and it should go to Heidelberg. Yeah, yeah, Alex the Jim in the background just electrified off of a win like that. A little bit of controversy goes a long way to help propel the wrestlers. It sure does, but you still see that handshake between the wrestlers and the opposing coaches. It's not their fault. You know, these things happen, and uh, we're going to go right down to Sarno Buka right now. And Sarno Buka. After some confusion in the periods and two pretty much no scoring periods, you came out on top. What's it like to be the winner in your weight class? It's amazing. I just, just do it for my team, my family, my school, everybody who helped me. It just feels awesome. Congratulations on your win, man. Thank you very much. Back to you guys. All right.